Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we are ready for another proudly South African dish. But before we get into the food, I want to re-establish our musical guest, the talented, absolutely graceful, powerful, do me, I kind of like that, drum roll. Drum roll. Let's go, let's I'm go, talking let's about go. Zoe Zana. Now, Zoe, how yes. are you feeling about being in the kitchen? Eish, I don't know how I'm feeling, but we're about to find out. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think it's time for us to color your life and plates with Plascon. Over the last three weeks, I've witnessed a series of chefs cook up a storm in this very kitchen, using Plascon colors as a form of their inspiration. We've been introduced to five Plascon color combinations in the form of food. We kicked it off with Chef Dumi preparing a delicious blue cheese and caramelized mushroom pasta inspired by Pear Fantasy, Desert Water, and Zanzibar. Then we saw Chef Jay bake a beautiful vanilla and caramel cake inspired by Double Happiness, Desert Water, and Stardust Peach. Chef Chart came through and put together a delicious ombre cake inspired by Azobean, Moody Blue, and Feathery. Chef Clem spoiled us with a West Coast mussel dish inspired by Feathery, Walnut Spice, and that hot terracotta. On Tuesday, we saw the two incredibly beautiful girls, Chef Clara and Lulu, bake a truly South African sago pudding inspired by Nomadic Dream, Graceful Green, and Desert Water. But now, Mzansi, it's my turn. I'm going to be making something inspired by my favorite color out of all. Today, I will show you how to prepare a stuffed chicken breast and roasted red pepper sauce. This entire dish was inspired by the Plascon color, Stardust Peach. Now this color, guys, this color takes me back to nature and it truly reminds me of KZN, which I call home. Now, Dumi, mm -hmm. that was a mouthful, but something that is a very desired mouthful <laughs> is a mouthful of this incredible dish. I mean, the colors are popping already. Popping. We are popping with the colors and people might be wondering how this ties into our African theme. It's the flavors that go into yeah. this. We've got tahini in there. We've got some cumin in there. All of these basically are signature to those North African flavors, you know, the Rockers, the Ethiopia, they use these kind of flavors in a lot of their dishes. So we decided not just keep it in the, in the South or keep it in the West. Let's go all around Africa <laughs> and just put those flavors together into one beautiful dish. I love that. Funny. I mean, Zoe, on your side, you're about yes. to put together this delicious hummus. Are you a fan of hummus at all? I've never had it. Oh, this is, then you're going to be my first, mind blown. Yeah. I think at the <laughs> so end of the show, yeah. Dumi, yeah, we're going to find out. Mm -hmm. I think um, everyone needs to be a little bit patient with uh, <laughs> um, the process of this. I've never seen this before, so um, it's probably going to look that way. It's going to look like I've never seen this Literally. before. <laughs> well, look, we like yeah. to say here on Afternoon Express, you eat with your eyes, girl. Right. So presentation is key. Mm -hmm. No pressure. What are we doing? So, Dumi, do you want to uh, show her the ropes? You know, like, if there's anything that anyone that doesn't, that doesn't cook would be happy about is what you're about to do, because all you're doing is blending. Yeah. You're just blending. So you can pop all those ingredients all right. into our, uh, the jar of our blender. Okay, you've got some chickpeas, yeah. which is what you've got in your hand right now. You've got some roasted red peppers. The reason we roast them is because we get that smoky flavor that goes yeah. gets imparted to them. And they also don't get overcooked. You don't want them mushy. You still want to have that texture in them. Mm -hmm. And then we're adding the tahini. We've got some harissa paste in there, some cumin, all those beautiful beautiful flavors are just going to give us a delicious, delectable dish. But This while... looks incredible. I mean, to me, this entire series, mm -hmm. we've truly been speaking about celebrating color, the vibrancy of color, and how it's kind of represented not only in our daily yeah. lives, but also in our food, in the kitchen. Correct. Now, I've decided to go with my favorite color. We've been speaking about these colors week in and week out. My favorite is that stardust yeah, peach. Well. You can already see the vibrancy of that peach color coming through. And for me, it's reminiscent of nature. You know, the, the beach sand between mm. your toes in Girl. Durban. The trees, <laughs> you know that tree bark as well. And yeah. also that gorgeous mountain range in the Drakensberg. That's what it's all about to me. Being able to represent where I'm from in a plate, but also <laughs> celebrate those African flavors. I like right. that. <laughs> in a plate, I like that. <laughs> I love that, Bali. <laughs> and obviously, we're not just sticking to one type here. We're not just making yes. the hummus, but we're also going to be stuffing our chicken. Yeah, and for the stuffing for our chicken, we're taking a bit of a twist here. We've got some cream cheese that I've just added into this bowl, as well as some chopped up apricots, um, dried apricots. And then I'm also adding some harissas, keeping with the theme, but you touched on that stardust, we want to bring that stardust color as well here in the filling that we're making. And then I'm just going to add some breadcrumbs, which would basically help with the stability of the filling to make sure it doesn't ooze out as we cook. Hey, some speaking oozing. about oozing out, yes. I am guy. making sure that this guy is sealed. Kill that guy. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> do you want to do the honors or should I? No, please go ahead. I'm, I don't want to hurt myself. 
There you go. You're a right yourself. <laughs> it's just that easy. It does all the work for you. As Dumi oh, did awesome. say, this is the part for the non-cooks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on, shake that's it up. That's the easy part. You can already see the color transforming. You can already see that star mm -hmm. coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dumi, yes. you're on stuffing station. I'm on stuffing station, right? So I've got some stuffing that I made a little earlier. I'm gonna now just season our chicken and make sure that it's flavorful, not only from the inside, but also on the outside. So a generous serving of some salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna put this baby on here to cook. And all we want is we want to get that beautiful charred flavor on the outside, but we also want it to cook through. Mm -hmm. So if by any chance you've cooked it on the stove top and it's still a little pink, just chuck it into the oven at 180 degrees so that it cooks through. But otherwise, this is going to just serve it a cup of that um, roasted red pepper harissa, and it's all about just enjoying now. Well, let's hand it over. Thank Teamwork you. makes the dream work. <laughs> we are continuing Indeed. to celebrate colour. We are continuing to celebrate Africa. And yes. thank you so much. I know you didn't want to be in the kitchen, but I, I think you did a great job. And if you want to do a great job in your kitchen at home, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get this recipe. Well, there you have it. A delicious meal inspired by my favourite plask on colour, Stardust Peach. Head over to Afternoon Express's digital pages and let us know what your favourite plask on colour is. Together with Plascon, we've got this. Join Expresso this autumn for a chance to win one of six Plascon vouchers, each to the value of 5,000 Rand. With nature's own forests, fields and beaches inspiring Plascon's new colour combination, tell us how you would colour your life. Answer our weekly social media question and find the terms on expressoshow.com. So colour your life with 5,000 Rand Plascon paint vouchers to be won this autumn on Expresso.